Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a bit different because this is a part of a small project that we are doing together with my Patreon supporters. But first let me talk a bit about the tools I'll be using today. For this sketch I wanted to keep things as simple as possible so I just have a watercolor sketchbook by Hanne Mure, one pencil, an eraser, six colors of Schmincke watercolors and one brush. This watercolor set is the small set I made using a mint can from Starbucks. I made a video where I tested it and showed how to make one. But I wanted to do a small update because recently I swapped the magnets that held the pans to the can with just a blue tack kind of sticky thing. This is because I planned to have this small set in my bag along with my wallet and the magnets didn't play well with my credit cards it seems. So you have to be careful with this. Ok so about the sketch that I'm doing, this is a part of a small thing I'm doing on Patreon right now. I uploaded 20 photos of Japan that I edited and picked from my vast library of reference photos just to give everyone that supports me on Patreon this bit of creative inspiration and a bit of a kickstart for making art. I think that a lot of us right now kind of struggle with finding the inspiration or motivation to do art and even finding the themes that one could use to do something, to sketch something. So I wanted to provide this small impulse to start a creative process. And if you are a Patreon supporter, you can use these photos as your reference to do whatever art you want. And next month, during a live Q&A video session, I will review and comment on all the art that you made based on the photos and submitted to me before the session starts. If you would like to participate in something like this and wouldn't mind sharing your works with everyone and getting my commentary on it, uh, you still can. Just go to Patreon and if you become a supporter there, you'll be able to access this and all the other materials that I uploaded so far. Okay, so I decided also to participate in this and sketch using the same reference photos that everyone will be using so we can compare my works too. I like this idea because it gives me a reason to sketch things that I wouldn't usually uh, draw or paint without it being a part of a bigger project. And here I have an impulse, a reason to do some sketching just for fun and to learn things and to get better at it. And this is very important for me because I noticed that lately I have been doing only painting and sketching that is needed for work for a bigger project. and doing something just to get better and just to train and practice and having this kind of imperfect space that you can have just for learning things and not aiming for the absolute perfection in everything you do is very important to stay creative and fresh and don't feel really stressed out every time you kind of approach a new thing. So a sketching meeting with friends just going somewhere and doing some random sketching or um, sketching from your favorite movie or doing some studies are really good things to do. But now that we cannot go out, I decided to provide the reference for you to use. Okay, and I started with this one, a simple sketch of a cute fishing town based on the photo I took from a train when I was going back from a trip to Totori. In this video I wanted to show how I tackled making this sketch so I decided not to speed up the footage so you have about 15 minutes more of me drawing and sketching in real time. The whole process took about 2 hours I guess but I chose some more interesting parts. Ok have fun and I'll meet you at the end of the video.
Okay, welcome back. So the sketch is nearly complete. I had actually a lot of fun doing this. It was a simple thing, but at the same time also challenging because I only had six colors to work with and the choice of the colors was not perfect for this piece either. But this made me think more and focus more on what I was doing actually. I want to do more of these sketches. There are still 19 photos for me to choose from. I want to do some maybe digital and some maybe with gouache. I'm kind of excited about this, so look forward for the next videos. And uh, okay, this piece is nearly complete. This is how it looked when I scanned it and tuned the colors a bit in Photoshop. I'm really excited to see what you will create based on the photos too, but I know that I already kind of feel refreshed by doing this sketch. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next one. Bye!